we have a problem. Like, Annie makes necklaces and sells them to her friend. For every three yellow beads, she uses four red and one green bead. How many red and green beads would be needed if she used 51 yellow beads? How many total beads were used to make this necklace? At first glance, we tell we can tell that there are three colored beads, or three types of colored beads. They are yellow beads, red beads, and green beads. So, we can also see in this problem that this is a ratio problem. So the ratio of the yellow beads, Y for yellow beads, the yellow beads to the red beads, R for red beads, to the green beads, G for green beads, is for every three yellow beads, so three goes under the yellow beads, she uses four red beads. So four goes under the red beads, and one green bead. So one goes under the green bead. For 51 yellow beads, so 51 yellow beads, how many red and how many green beads are there? So, to solve this part of the problem, we need to use cross multiplication. That means that we have two columns. The yellow column and the red column. Because we are going to try to figure out how many red beads there are. So, for every three yellow beads, for three yellow beads, she uses four red beads. For 51, 51 yellow beads, how many red beads does she use? So, we need to multiply three with question mark and 51 with four. We get three question mark is equal to 51 times four. Question mark is equal to 51 times four over three. Three goes into 51 17 times. 17 times. So we get 17 times 4, which is equal to 68 red beads. So there are 68 red beads. There are 68 red beads. Now we need to find out how many green beads there are. Again, we have to solve this part of the problem with cross multiplication. Now, instead of the red, yellow column and the red column, we have the yellow column and the green column. So the yellow column and the green column. For every three yellow beads, for every three yellow beads, she uses one green bead. For 51 yellow beads, she uses how many green beads? So, we have to cross multiply. This means we multiply 3 with question mark and 51 with 1. We get 3 question mark is equal to 51 times 1 is 51. Question mark is equal to 51 over 3, which is equal to 17. So, there are 17 green beads. Let's write this in red. There are 17 green beads. Now we need to find out how many red and green beads, or the total amount of red, the total amount of red and green beads. So, we know that there are 68 red beads, 
68 red beets, and 17 green, and 17 green beets. So all we have to do is add up the 17 and the 68 to get the total amount of red and green beets. Let's put a divider line between these two. We get 8 plus 7 is 15. Put the 5 down here and carry the 1. 1 plus 6 plus 1 is 8. So we have 85 total red and green beets. 85 red and green beets. Now, let's write beets as the unit.